This is Lion Love, and today reading Haaret on the 9th of August. I decided to read it from the back page and start with the better news. So, Jerry Adams, Jerry Adams is here. Can you see? He has published um, a cookbook. He used to be the head of the Catholic Irish uh, party, Sinn Féin, and one of th he was one of the people who signed the Good Friday Accords, it says, in 1998. And he has a new hobby. He has a political cookbook in which he um, includes recipes from, the, from his time of negotiation. Maybe we can bring it to the Middle East. And he has such recipes as the peace process, spelled P-E-A-S, and pizza in our time. And he has Irish stew, Mary Lou Irish stew, and cookies are lay, are lay, uh, referring to the Irish Republic, Tico Fada Arla, which means our day will come. But besides his many supporters, there's also criticism on his uh, intentions on investing in a project which seems uh, not so important as the people in Northern Ireland are dealing with uh, years of uh, dispute. Um, so he's going to have recipes that he said to help the peace uh, process. Uh, he says the British never fed us, they just, there was never food. The Irish has had a cook, we, we got along. So um, as you know, the, there was the famine, famous uh, potato famine. Uh, so this is um, quite interesting, quite interesting. We can have cookbooks in Israel as well. It's good food. And I want to show you um, excellent news before I go to the not so good news. Uh, we have a first, this is an historical photo. I hope you can see it clearly. First Israeli to win a gold medal in Berlin of all places. It reminds us of Jesse Owen, the 1933 Olympics. Uh, and this is even more, this is a double win. It's a it's Israeli flag and an African woman. It's a triple for women, Africans, and uh, Israel, and Jews. So this is Lona, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, Lona Chamati Slepter. She's an Israeli citizen, originally from Kenya, and she she has a record time, uh, and she won a gold medal in the European Championship, 10,000 meter run. Beautiful achievement in Berlin. And we hear here that actually, contrary, this is like yoga, you have the negative. There are more incidences of anti-Semitism in Germany, 10% more. The number of anti-Semitic incidences in Germany and the first half of 2018 uh, increased 10% compared to the last time. They had um, the German government published the statistics, 401 anti-Semitic incidences reported. Um, extreme right wing are responsible for that. And also six incidents is extreme left wing. And the greatest numbers were in Berlin. Berlin, where there are 20% of that. And uh, they, they have an uh, increase in Berlin, where there are many Israelis are going to live. Hmm. He says he's not, uh, the, the one uh, who's in charge of it says he's not surprised many Jews want to leave bad news. Then we have uh, global warming, but here in Israel um, we had rocket attack on the north, southern border to Gaza. People injured, likely to medium. And the caricature. Many, many things taking place in Israel. One of them is the problem in the army where we have religious influence. So we have the first woman in charge of an Air Force unit. And this picture is showing her. Um, 
sort of an answer to the religious uh, leaders who want segregation in the army, because women and men serve equally in the army. And uh, there were there was a group of paratroopers who turned their back to uh, to their instructor because she's a woman and they wouldn't look at a woman, and they were not even ultra ultra orthodox. So it's yeah, equality is something we need to fight for, definitely, and not segregate. Peace, love, and light from us.